That was super fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the waves. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat dinner in the evening. All right, done. At least ask where we're gonna eat. <laughs> From home or where else? <laughs> of course not. We're gonna eat outside tonight. <laughs> Um, why from outside? We've already spent a lot. Come on, don't be a miser. I'll manage. Uh, okay, fine. We'll eat outside. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, can we stop here, please? Wait, why? I want to show you something. But what? Come here for a minute. Okay, okay, coming. What is it? This is the car I was talking about yesterday. <laughs> uh, what's the price? I didn't ask for a price. I came with Ashley and then I saw it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so much. I have some money saved up, but I will buy it someday. But till then it'll be sold, don't you think? It may be sold by then, but... I'll buy another one just like it. <laughs> it's really too good. <sighs> yes. <laughs> anyway, let's go. You have work tomorrow. Oh yeah, let's go. Going to sleep? I don't know how you can sleep right now. Huh? What are you talking about? It's just... You think that your boyfriend can't even buy an ordinary car for you. Just be honest. It's driving me crazy. I'm so restless. <sighs> Please stop. I'm not feeling sleepy. I wish I could buy you all the cars in the world, but... I just can't. Now you're insulting me, Victor. Insult? No. What are you saying? Now I'm feeling guilty. When did I say I wanted you to buy the car for me? I just liked it a lot. If I don't get it, it's not like I'm going to die. Now go to sleep. You're always late on Mondays. I don't need your pity. <sighs> it's not like that, my love. I am happy, just the way we are. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Now, go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving for work now. Bye. Bye, love. Have a good day at work. <sighs> now I know I'm going to have the best day. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> Bye. Oh, hey, Ashley. How are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what? Lunch together? Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I can try finishing all the chores and then we can go. What do you say? Awesome. See you at two. Bye bye <laughs> So how's everything going? Nothing much. Oh, you know what? I did show Victor that car we saw the other day. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. Has he agreed to buy that car? Um, it's too expensive, Ashley. And his two salaries? It's impossible. And I... I just wanted to show him anyway. Hmm, I see. But you know what? I feel like... He'll do anything to get me that car.
Oh, well, that's good for you. <laughs> oh my god, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I was just passing by and thought of having a coffee. So, how are you? <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. And uh, this is my friend, Nora. And Nora, this is my boss. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Hope you didn't mind. Oh, why would she mind? What kind of a girl would mind being praised and called beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> True. But anyways, it was nice seeing you, Miss Nora. Wait, are you leaving? Yeah, I have a lot of meetings to attend. Bye, Miss Nora. He's my boss. Super rich guy, billionaire, but so down to earth. Honestly, he's like family. But it seems like some rich men do go through their own sorrows. Huh? What's he sad about? His wife. They don't exactly understand each other, and she's seriously so doubtful and ill-mannered. Oh my god, one time she yelled at his secretary in front of everyone in the office. Wait, why? Ugh, let me tell you, when Mr. Samuel went on his business trip, he took his secretary along with him. As soon as his wife found out, she started so much chaos. Hmm, she might have thought that there was something going on between them. That's the problem. She shouldn't have doubted him over something like that. Sure, the guy's rich and handsome, but she should have trusted his loyalty. Hmm, yeah. <sighs> well, anyways, shouldn't we order something now? Sure. <laughs> Not like the food? <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. Huh. Then why aren't you eating? Actually, I asked about the price for that car. Huh? When? Today. On my way back from work. What good is that gonna do? That only bothers your inner self. Look, I'm gonna do everything I can to buy that car for you. Wait, should I sell my car? So, how will you get to work? That's for me to worry about. I can get there by taxi. Leave it. If she asks me, I'll tell her that we're not worthy to buy it. Wait, who will ask? I'm talking about Ashley. We had lunch together today, so I told her that I was going to buy the car. She thinks that if you want it, then I can have anything I want. Okay, don't worry. Please, don't give me false hope. And don't even think about selling your car either. It's not worth anything. Now finish your dinner and go to sleep. Good night. Victor? Victor, wake up! He's still sleeping. Victor, wake up! You're going to be late for work! I'm up, I'm up! Um, are you upset with me? No. Why would I be upset? Well, I was mad at you last night, so... Oh, it's over with, Nora. But yeah, it is my wish to buy the car one day. It's my dream. Either dreams may not come true, but everybody dreams and tries to fulfill them. Hey, I'm going to do everything I can to make your dreams come true. If you want something, 
I'm gonna do everything that I can to make you happy. <laughs> Anyways, Ashley wants me to join her today. She needs to go shopping. So, um, do you need anything? I can get it for you. <laughs> no! This money's for you. Buy something you want. As long as you're happy, I'm gonna be happy. <sighs> I love you, Vic. I love you too. And don't worry, I'll pick you up from the mall. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> Believe it! You got so many things, girl! <laughs> oh, come on! This is like half of the things I usually purchase! <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll be right back. I need to take this call. Alright, take your time! <laughs> oh, hello there, Miss Nora. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, uh, hi! <laughs> I was here with Ashley. Uh, she had to go shopping, so, um... Oh, I see. So, you and Ashley are best friends, am I right? Uh-huh. <laughs> By the way, can I ask you something? Sure. What's your boyfriend's name? Uh, it's Victor. And how do you know that? I guessed it. When I mentioned him, you don't seem so happy. It happens, in starting, I was also thinking that I got her. So I've got everything, then in only one year. I came to know that I've lost everything. But I am okay. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> when someone asked that too, I also used to say this one has to pretend as well. Um, what are you trying to do? Hey! What are you doing? V Victor! Why are you getting close to her? Listen, man. Victor, stop it! Let's go! Wait, Victor, at least tell me what happened! Don't ask me anything until we get home. But, Victor! Damn, so conservative. Nora, wait up! You're the one that should be feeling ashamed. And yet you're angry at me? Huh? What shamelessness have I done? Just stop it, Nora. You know what you did. I was just talking to him. Don't you do the same? Don't you have any female workers there, huh? They're just co-workers. So? Was he my boyfriend? Stop it, Nora. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! No. <sighs> Look, I know I got too angry. I shouldn't have. I I'm sorry. It's just so natural I can't help it. I don't know what to do. I mean, somebody getting close to my girlfriend? What am I supposed to do? I'm possessive, I know, very possessive. But without possession, love isn't love. Whatever it is, you shouldn't have done all that. I thought I was right at the time, Nora. Look, I'm so sorry. I was just scared that if he might... I became frightened, Victor. And I'm upset because I'm frightened of you. Nora, this is so unfair. You made a pretty shameful mistake, and now you're saying that you're scared of me? Victor, please leave me alone. Let me understand what actually happened. I'm feeling as if I've seen a nightmare. I also saw a nightmare, and I was scared, Nora. Just for once, think calmly about being in my shoes. What would you have done? I love you. You only think what you think. I think what I think. Ugh. Look, I'm gonna go buy something to eat. I'm sorry for being so angry. I'm sorry what I did to you. I'm back. Nora. 
oh, uh, uh, you're back. Yeah, were you asleep? Yeah, but uh, I'll go set the table. Wait, I want to tell you something. What is it? Uh, look, so many people in this world have just so many things. Big homes, big cars, hire anyone they want and buy anything that they like. I don't care about that. Let them be happy with whatever they have. But I know that I have the most precious thing in the world. The most beautiful. The most unique. Um, what do you have? I have you, Nora. I have you. <laughs> Who is this? Means all people lie who say that my voice is not unforgettable. <laughs> Samuel speaking. Huh? Who gave you my number? If you have minded, then I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, it's fine. I was just a little surprised is all. So, why would you call me? To apologize for that day. To be very honest, I had no bad intentions at all. Uh, it's okay. He's all good now. Do you stay at home all day? Yes, mostly I stay at home. Sometimes I go shopping. Will you do a job? A job? Yes, with me, in my office. And he will not agree. It means he does not listen to you. No, no, he does. But if I ask him to let me work for you, he won't ever agree. He doubts you. You also look at me in such a way. You know, I can't help it. This is my problem. When I wake up, my eyes start to search for you. I know, it's not good for us. He will mind it. Um, I think he's here. I'll talk to you about it later. Alright, bye. Welcome home. You seem very tired. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take a quick shower. You can set the table. Alright. Uh, I thought I would apply for a job. What do you think? Have I ever stopped you? Well, in the beginning, you never used to agree. Well, do you have any job offers? How can I get any offer at home? I will go some places and we'll see what kind of responses I get. Look, you're probably not going to get a great salary just because you have no experience, but you should try. You know why I'm doing this, right? Yeah. I know. You want to help me. Actually, you want to help us. I'll talk to Ashley. Mr. Samuel has a big business. I will ask her to talk to him for me about getting a job. If you do a job somewhere else, I won't have any problems. But if you work there, I will have a problem. What do you mean? I'm talking about Mr. Samuel. Maybe he is a good man, but... When he looks at you, it seems that he's looking... This is very unfair, Victor. If I want to do something for myself, you can't stop me. Uh, is that what you want? Yes, Victor. Trust me. Uh, okay. You can go tomorrow. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Uh, can I come in, sir? Oh, hey. How are you? <laughs> Please, come have a seat. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but isn't it time for lunch? Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm late. Oh, no, no, you're totally fine. <laughs> well, let's go out. Uh, but where? To have lunch, of course. Don't worry. It's not a date, just yet. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Uh, okay. Welcome.
Welcome to my place. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Do you live here all alone? What do you mean? I mean, where's your wife? Oh, she barely visits me. We have a very critical life, so I'd prefer to be all alone. Come, let me show you to my room. Wow, it's so pretty! <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you something. Yes? You can live here from tomorrow. Because, you know, I need my secretary to be here with me all the time. So... What? But... Uh, no, Victor will never agree to this. Oh, well, you can just tell him that you're going on a business trip with me. I'm sure he'll agree to it. Um... I can try to talk to him. And... Hmm... Wait here. Here. Take this advance. I'm sure he'll agree to let you go after. <laughs> <sighs> I'm home! Hey, darling. How was your first day at work? Um, it was good. What is all this? Well, you used to always prepare dinner for me when I'd arrive home, but now it's my responsibility. <laughs> You know you didn't have to do all this, Vic. Come on, I just wanted to try something new. Now go, hop in the shower quick and then come downstairs for dinner. Well, um, I need to tell you something. Yeah? What is it? Mr. Samuel wants me to join him on his business trip, so I'll have to go with him for a week. What? But... No, I... How am I going to live without you and for a week? Come on, Vic. He's not what you think. He's actually really nice. And look, he even gave me an advance. We can even buy the car I wanted. <laughs> Nora, we've talked about this. Money's irrelevant and we can't buy the love that I have for you, Nora. I love you for who you are. Look, don't be so dramatic. You should be happy for me. Instead, you're just... Jealous. No, wait, Nora, it's it's not like that. I'm just... I'm just worried about you. Don't be, Victor. I'm going to be fine. And it's just for a week anyway. But no, you're so conservative. I'm gonna go take a shower. Ugh. <sighs> sleeping. Do you really want to go? What do you think? Was it a joke? No, it wasn't. And what if I say you can actually go? Wait, really? Yeah, but you gotta promise me that you're gonna call me every day. I, I promise. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vic. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. So, how do I look? <laughs> oh, wow! You're looking absolutely gorgeous! Thanks! <laughs> wait, are you actually gonna wear this dress? Yeah, why? Don't you like it? No, no, it's not that. I love this dress, but... Huh? Oh, I think Mr. Samuel's here. Huh? Why does he have to come here? He said he'll pick me up. I need to go now. Bye! W wait Huh? What is it? I love you. So much. <laughs> I love you too. Bye! Bye! Oh, 
I can't wait for you to come home. I miss you so much. <laughs> Me too. Do you know when you're coming back? I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> oh, really? What kind of surprise? You'll have to wait until you come home. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Anyways, Victor, can I call you tomorrow? I need to go to bed. All right. Sleep well. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ah. Oh, wow. You're looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. What if your wife comes back and sees me here with you? Wouldn't she mind? Why do you keep mentioning her? I... I don't like hearing about her again and again, do you get that? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to make you mad. Sometimes it seems like you're a little kid. You get angry about small things and then suddenly you're happy again. Then please, don't mention her. I, I won't, I promise. But you know the week's already coming to an end and that means I'll have to be going back soon. What? N no, you can't leave. But I have to. I don't understand sometimes. Which type of man is he? If I don't come back, he will have a problem with it. He already doubts you. What if someday he may say that don't go to work? And if you will not come, then what will I do? <laughs> There's no need to worry. I'll come anyway. I won't risk my job over stupid doubts of his. He thinks you gave me this job out of useless kindness. He thinks I'm not capable of all these things. Actually, he's not capable of you. He doesn't know what he got. <laughs> Don't get upset. I will see. Where are you going? I... I need to go, Samuel. No, you can't leave me. But I promised him that I'll be back in a week. Look, Nora, he doesn't deserve you. And you don't deserve him. You deserve me only. <sighs> Listen, Sam. I love you so much. And I want to tell him we're dating so badly. But try to understand. <sighs> but you need to promise me. You'll be back in two days. I promise. Take care. I'll miss you so much. I'll miss you too. Bye. Ah, <sighs> why did she have to leave? Stupid. Coming! Oh my gosh, you're finally here! I missed you so much! <laughs> Come on in, have a seat. So, uh, how was your business trip? I want to know everything. Um, it was fun. <laughs> um, is something wrong? Uh, it's just, I'm tired, you know? Oh, uh, I understand. Are you hungry? I prepared your favorite. <laughs> no, thanks. Can I go to bed instead? Uh, yeah, sure. Sleep well. <laughs> Good night. Hmm. 
something's weird. Ah, uh, damn. Why is he calling me at this hour? Why are you calling me, Sam? I miss you very much. Please, come back. I told you, Sam. I need to wait a few days. I'll be back soon. Why don't you just tell him that you love me, not him? I know. I want to, but... Do you love me or not? I do love you, Sam. That's it. Then tell him. Don't be scared. Who are you talking to, Nora? I, uh... It's, it's no one. Hello? Ah, uh, damn. What is all this? Are you... Are you cheating on me? Wh why? No, it's not like... I knew it. I knew that you'd cheat on me the moment you left. He was calling you, right? I I yeah. <laughs> How stupid could I be? You're out there having fun with him. And I'm doing everything for you here. Do you even want to know the surprise? I got promoted. And I even got you the car that you wanted. What? And I bet you don't even remember our anniversary, do you? I... I don't. Oh well. There's still 15 minutes left. I'll go change. What? Why? What do you mean? It's our last anniversary. You should change too. I don't want to! Why are you doing all this? Are you insulting me? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. This is the last thing that I want from you. Last wish? What do you mean? Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. But you are. Oh, yeah. Make sure to call Mr. Samuel to pick you up from here, alright? I'll go change. Today was our dating anniversary, and he was celebrating that. I even forgot. What? <laughs> you guys gone mad. Many times. I feel the same. So, how have you lived now with this mad person, huh? <laughs> Please come home. I'm afraid of him now. Is he going to mind? No. Can you just come and pick me up? Okay. Be there in 20 minutes. Okay. Bye. Wait, what are you doing? I'm cleaning. Might be poor, but I'm not dirty. Here, give it to me. I'll do it. What's the point? Who's gonna clean in the morning? It's not gonna be you. I'll be cleaning, right? So let me do it now. The better I get the practice. <sighs> I think he's here. Let me go get my stuff. No. You're not allowed to go in my room. I'll go get your bag. <sighs> Here you go. Wait. <laughs> happy anniversary. Be happy. Happy... anniversary.
Did you call for me, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Please, come in. I have very good news for you. <laughs> oh, really? Well, what's this all about? Yes, you're promoted as manager. <laughs> Congrats. Oh my lord, uh, I can't believe this! Thank you so much! <laughs> it's my pleasure, you deserve this. Yeah, but there's so many great employees here, so why me? Because you're mannered, and I really love that. <laughs> Thank you so much! Seriously, this means so much. Do you mind if I head out now? <laughs> sure. Wait up. Yeah? Would you like to go out for lunch with me? Um, this is a bit awkward to say, but... You know, I'm really not into... Huh? Why? I just... I just don't prefer going out with... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love your work. Not only your work is brilliant, but your heart is also good. Good job, Victor. I was hoping for that answer. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. I mean, you had me scared, Miss Eliana. I, have a good day. You too. <sighs> thank you so much for going with me. <laughs> Of course, girly, any time! I'll be heading, okay? Bye! Yep, bye. Why are you here all of a sudden? What do you mean? It's my property! I can come here anytime I want! Huh? Babe? Where are you? Listen, please, you have to go right now. What are you hiding from me, Sam? Tell me now! Look, please, try to understand. Where will I go? I have your baby with me. You can't just kick me out like that. W what? Sam's baby? <laughs> um, you stay right here, okay? <laughs> Nora! Nora! <laughs> Nora, come out, right now. It's not like what you think. Stop messing with me, Samuel. You said she'd never come back. She came. And she's even... You lied to me about everything. Yes, I did. So what? You know what? Get out of here. But... Get out of here. You can't do this to me, Samuel! Sam! Open the door! No! What are you doing here? Come, have a seat. What are you looking at there? I don't have good memories of this door. And this is where you went out. <laughs> Please, Victor. Anyways, you know, what's the date today? What happened on this day? What? What happened? We met... for the first time today. Oh. Yeah. Have you forgotten? Of course I didn't forget. I've been trying to. I remember the date. I remember everything. Especially when you left. I can't forget that. Wait... Are you leaving? You know what's funny? When I met you... When we first started dating, I never thought I could leave you. But today, I know I can. <laughs> That's 
say. I remember it like it was yesterday. What about you, Nora? I was standing there when you left and you didn't even turn to look back at me. <laughs> you know what I've been trying to figure out? Murder or disloyalty? What's worse? With murder, someone loses their life and it's over. You might feel guilty, but what's done is done. But disloyalty, two people have to live with that. And that's been me, Nora. No, please. No, Nora. Victor. Please don't come near me. Nora, when I die, don't you dare come to my grave. Please. <laughs> Don't come near me. I don't want anything to do with you. Your disloyalty. It's worse than murder. I... 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 Victor! Uh, uh, no! Wake up! Victor! Open your eyes! No! Someone help! Please! Someone! Someone help! help! No! What? Uh, okay, I I'll be there. Oh, damn. <laughs> Please! <sighs> How? How is he, Doctor? Sorry, ma'am. He's no more. Ha 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 ha!